Hey everyone, what's going on today? Hopefully you're having a wow moment, you're walking on water, you're taking advantage of this opportunity called life, alright? Uh, guess what guys, you're not going to hear my voice today. I know you're sad, don't cry. Um, but I'm going to let my wife take it from here, okay? She's going to teach us some things about how to overcome public fear of public speaking. She's one of the best public speakers I've ever heard. She has everything, all right? So she's going to uh, give you a little tips on how she overcame and how you can overcome as well, all right? Um, so, baby, take it from here. Thanks, hon. I'll take it from here. Hi, I'm Rendra Jennings, and I just want to spend a few moments of your time encouraging you and hopefully inspiring you of how to overcome your fear of public speaking whether it be in front of a live audience or a virtual audience you can be successful so I have a 3p formula that I will share with you that will erase your fear of public speaking but before I get to that I just want to let you know it's okay to be nervous most people are being nervous shows that you care about what you are talking about. The moment that you stop being nervous is when you should worry, okay? So figure out what the nervous things that you do are. For instance, you could have a friend record you speaking and see if you say any filler words. The most common filler words are, um, you know, like. Figure out what yours are and tackle those. And so when you go into recording a video or even speaking live, you'll know right off what you need to avoid doing. Having that knowledge will help you to become more successful. So it's okay to be nervous. And then how can you use that nervous energy to be successful? What I do is channel my nervous energy within so that it can it can produce outwardly excitement and enthusiasm how do you do that some people meditate right before they get ready to speak some people do what is called before speaking affirmations they remind themselves of why they are speaking why the message that they are getting out is so important and that affirms in their minds that gives them a, an extra boost of confidence oftentimes I even pray before I speak so that I can make sure that my message is delivered successful find successfully find out what works for you and then use it it may change every time but use something to help you channel the energy so right off the back you know it's okay to be nervous people appreciate that okay because most people are nervous and your audience wants to know that you are human just like them it's okay to be nervous channel that energy now let's get to our 3p formula of how to erase the fear of public speaking now of course there is a lot more that could go with this but i've reduced it down to these three points to help you get started today so first off is passion make sure that whatever you are speaking about whether it be your business, whether it be a topic that you just want to get out to the masses, make sure it's something that you yourself care about. Very few people can convincingly discuss a topic that they don't care about for longer than a few seconds, right? Your audience can tell when you don't care, right? So make sure you are passionate. That same nervous energy I said to put within and then let it exude from you in the form of excitement, do that. Let passion permeate. That means let it flood your video, okay? That doesn't mean that you have to jump around and off the screen. It, it could be in your voice. For me, it's my smile. I like people to see that I'm passionate about what I'm talking about because I smile. So that's P for passion. Next up is personality. People want to get a little bit of you when they hear you speak. So consider questions like, why is this topic important to me? How did this bless me? Or how did it impact my life? If it's your business, how did this business change my life? Right? That's what people want to hear. That's what will reel people in to you or your business. So you have passion, you have personality, but those two P's alone are not enough to help your video be successful or your public speaking endeavor to be successful. The last P, and one of the most important, is preparation. 
right? Freestyling is for rappers. <laughs> Leave it with them. If it's as simple as writing a few notes down, a few bullet points of what you hope to discuss, your audience will appreciate you looking down at notes from time to time because it shows them that you prepared. You cared enough about your topic and you cared enough about your audience to prepare in advance. Practice, practice, practice. Practice doesn't make perfect, right? And again, your audience doesn't want to see somebody perfect because they're not perfect. Practice makes permanent. The more you get out and you speak, the better you will become at it. So make sure you practice, jot you down some notes. There are a number of ways you can research to figure out what works best for you. My husband and I both use outlines to help us while we're speaking. That may work for you. I like to reduce my outline to even less with bullet points. That may work for you. Find out what works and use it. So there you have it. You have the three P formula to help you be successful with public speaking. Infuse your speech with passion, personality, and make sure your audience knows just how prepared you are.